is it today? I'm super excited because I have a fashion haul for you for summertime and I was really really excited to go to the mall because every store basically had a sale because it was the semi-annual kind of sale season so I was really excited I, I am really excited for everything that I got and for the first time in a haul video I'm going to be showing you guys what things look like on so I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't have a fancy computer. I don't have a MacBook. So I, I don't know if I can like put little clips like on the side here or if I'm just going to have to like put a clip after I talk. Like I don't know. But I will try on all the clothing for you and tell you all the prices. So if you have any other like requests or anything you want me to do during haul videos, let me know down below. I also want to do a lookbook soon, so I will get on that. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into everything. Um, I'm going to start off with Bath and Body Works. Um, something weird about me is that I don't like, like, I don't like fruity candles. I don't like any candles that smell like fruit or tropical or summer or fresh or anything like that. Any candle I like is like a woodsy, musky, autumn, cinnamon, deep smell, which is really weird, I know, so I don't really get any candles at all during this time of year. I only really like the candles that are like fall and winter candles, so, but they had everything was $3. All their signature sales stuff was $3, so I got three lotions. The first one I got was Country Apple. I absolutely love this smell. It just smells like straight up apple and that you walked into an orchard and it just smells amazing. And I always need body lotion. I lotion my body every time I get off the shower and I just always am really dry I feel like so I got a bunch of lotion. I got Country Apple. I got um, Vanilla Teeny which is, I think this is actually a winter smell but I really like just vanilla in general and this is a great smell. So I got that and then I got the Rio Romberry Triple Moisture Body Cream which is really pretty packaging. It just smells like straight up berries and it smells really really good. So that is all the stuff I got from Bath and Body Works. So now everything else I bought I put into this bag because I thought that would be fun to kind of pull it out and stuff. And I actually also bought this bag so that's why. Um, I bought this bag because I've always wanted like a duffel that wasn't too big, like a perfect size duffel and Gilly Hicks was having 50% off on these bags. So these were $50 with 50% with off which is $25. So it's a really, really good deal and it's just a nice bright color and I love it. It's perfect, it has the shoulder strap. I think this is going to be perfect for track season when it comes back around next year, tennis and just working out and like sleepovers and all that stuff. So it's this bright coral and pink color. It says Gilly Hicks right here. It has a little pocket in here and then it also has a pocket in the inside but first I'm going to share with you guys every, everything that's in here which is like all the stuff I bought. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I got was this pair of shorts and I'll button them for you so they look nicer. This pair of high-waisted fabric shorts. I don't have any shorts that are like this and I thought this was just a really cute print for the summer. They are little like, I don't know what kind of birds they are but they're little birds. And they're just really cute high-waisted and these are the kind of shorts that my mom actually lets me wear because they're like not jeans so they're not like hugging your body. They're still a little bit short but actually they're like perfectly fine. Um, so this is going to be great for the summertime. And this was 1980. I hope it focuses for you. So I got that. And then also from Forever 21 I got this lovely top that again I will button for you because I just filmed like the clips of me trying them, trying them on, so I unbuttoned everything. So this is a really pretty top. My mission for this haul was to get a lot of tops, but I don't really know. I got some tops, but not too many, because the last haul I did in spring break, 
it was all pants, like literally. So I got this top from Forever 21. It's the sheer black material. It has this gorgeous oh, Peter Pan collar. It's like white and crochet, and it has this like little lines, and it's sheer, but it's really nice, and I really like it. This was also 1980. So that is that top. And then, also from Fur 21, I got this basic because I didn't own a basic like this. It's just a quarter length sleeve um, black and white striped top. I literally don't have anything like this, and I think it'd be lovely for any season. I I could wear this right now with some colored shorts and look cute with sandals and I could wear it in the fall with skinny jeans and like Sperry's and then I can wear it in the winter with boots and jeans so I mean this is just a really versatile piece and I thought it was timeless and I didn't have one so I grabbed it this was $9.80 so it was very cheap $9.80 and then the next thing I got from Forever 21 the last thing actually is this black cami because I don't have a just a plain black cami, I have like a nude one, but I don't have a black one. And since this top I got right here, this one was a little bit sheer, I thought it would be good to get to one of these. And this was $2.80, but I think it was on sale for $1.80. So I got this top. And then from Gilly Hicks, other than the bag, I got these running shorts. I can never have enough running shorts. The color is a little bit weird on camera but they're just like a bright coral basically with blue lining on the side. They have like this little thing inside of them so it's not like completely see-through but it is pretty see-through still so I would wear maybe some spandex and the inside's really cute because it's like a teal color. So I got that and this was $24.50. And then from, also from Gilly Hicks, they were having a sale on their bras, so I got one. And I just tried this on, I actually didn't try it on in the store because if you've ever been in a Gilly Hicks, they're um, a little bit crazy with the um, dressing room, so I got this one, I just grabbed it. This one, this is a 32A and I just tried it on and I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit too small for me. And it's kind of, I don't like the way it goes on, how it's like this on the back. So you put it on like a sports bra basically. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I probably will have to return it because it's a little small and it's just, I don't like the way you put it on. But otherwise it's really cute. It's like with lace. That was, I believe they were having a sale for like $15 on all their bras. And then from American Apparel, this is my favorite purchase that I got. Um, I've always wanted to buy something from American Apparel because it's like pretty much famous here but it's really expensive but I went in there and I got this maxi skirt it's just a blue color with little little daisies and I think it's absolutely gorgeous it's like floor length basically actually kind of hits me on my like feet and my ankles so this is what it looks like and it's gorgeous it's gonna look great with crop tops I wanted to get they're really famous for like their small like tight crop tops but since this was really expensive, I thought I would just get it next time. This was, um, this was $58, so there we go. Um, a little bit of a, what is it called? A little bit of a, not a steal, a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. And it's a timeless piece. I know it's pretty summery, but I mean, I'm sure I could pull it off in other seasons. And then I got two, or no, four more things. This one, this muscle tank is from Brandy Melville. It says Los Angeles, New York. It's one of their really famous ones. And I like that it's not one of the long ones. It's like the crop, crop muscle tanks. 
and it's really low on the sides and I really like it. This was actually from PacSun. PacSun is starting to sell some Brandy Melville and this was 20 50 They literally only had one rack of Brandy Mel Melville stuff and all the other things on it were like okay but I really wanted like a muscle tank so I got this one. And then also from PacSun, this is from their clearance rack and it's just this really cute basic white shirt, I mean white shirt, this is not white, what is wrong with me? I got this basic um, striped t-shirt but with leather sleeves and I think that just like ties everything together and makes it a little bit more edgy and I love it. It has like these little, I don't know, like seams on the sides and the sides are like diagonal stripes and I really really like this. It's a little bit sheer so I probably would wear a tank top but over the summer I probably wouldn't actually. So this was on clearance for $8.99, yeah. Now I got two hair accessories that I'm really excited about. The first one is this headband from Lululemon. I am currently collecting Lululemon headbands. I wanted two, but you can. these are really expensive. These are $12, which is actually, it's not that bad, but it's pretty expensive for a headband. It's just this really pretty floral color. I mean, floral color. It's a floral print. I wanted this one in a lilac one, um, but I got this one, and I really, really like it. It's going to be great for running, and I just I just love these headbands for casual days when you want to wear your hair up, and yeah, I really, really like that. Wow, this has been a long video. And then, the last thing I got was this bow from American Apparel. And It's gonna look so cute. I was they have like you know how their bows are like behind the counter and I was trying to pick which one I wanted because I couldn't decide because there was so many colors but I just got a white because I thought it would look great against my black hair and also it's very um, wearable and it was made in France so yeah I love this and that is everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it's a little bit lengthy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. I will, the next video I will probably film is the fashion or dye tag. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.